Welcome to another game. Uh, this time we're going to do something really unique with Canada. Canada just had a bunch of uh, new changes here with uh, their production and food and tundra tiles. So I want to do a huge cold map. So I have the temperature set to cold and it's huge because I figure that'll give me plenty of tundra to settle as Canada. And I'm doing Pangea because I also want enough room. I want, I envision kind of going up across either the southern edge of the land, landmass or the northern part and just kind of filling up that whole area of tundra. Um, so yeah, this will be really interesting. I think huge map will be better for that. Uh, so there's going to be 12 sieves, 18 city-states. Um, yeah, cold. Everything else is standard. I'm going to play on Deity, standard game speed, Pangea, huge map. Um, yeah, so this should be a lot of fun. Um, let's review... Um, okay, first let's kind of go over the general game plan. Um, so I just really want a big tundra empire. I've never done anything like that. So I envision like a lot of cities, like probably t hopefully 12 to 15 cities um, with high populations and uh, not really trying to go for the fastest win here. I, I do hope to go for a diplomatic victory because a lot of things changed with that. I'm really curious to try that out. Um, so yeah, just focusing on expansion and uh, nice, big, beautiful empire uh, and a diplomatic victory would be perfect. Um, so let's go through uh, Wilfred's bonuses here and we'll highlight the ones that changed. Um, so he can build farms on Tundra. After civil engineering, um, he can build farms on Tundra Hills. Uh, let's see, snow and Tundra... T uh, so mines, lumber mills, mines and lumber mills give extra production in snow and Tundra. And let's see, plus one food for camps. Strategic resources accumulate twice as fast. Cost of purchasing tiles in tundra and snow is half. That's nice. That's a pretty nice bonus. Um, they cannot declare war on city-states or surprise wars. Surprise wars cannot be declared on Canada. For every 100 tourism per turn, you get one diplomatic favor per turn. So we're going to try to have a high tourism game, even though we're not going for a cultural victory. Uh, we, we would like to benefit from this bonus. Uh, plus 100% diplomatic favor from successfully completing emergency or scored competition. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see, ice hockey rinks. Plus one amenity, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra or snow tile. That's cool. Wow, so I mean that's like, what, five... It's five or six culture from adjacent tiles. And then tourism, of course, when you get flight, that's like five tourism. Plus two food and production once you get professional sports. Very nice. And then plus four culture if adjacent to a stadium. That is incredible. So imagine like five culture from the snow or tundra and then four from, stadi from the stadium. That's like plus nine culture on a single tile. So, um, can, I think you get only, I think it's only, yeah, only one per city. But if you have a big empire, just imagine how much tourism that generates. It's kind of like the open air museum. So we're going to try to have a bunch of those just for fun. It's going to be beautiful to see like how much, see the yields of the tiles. I really want to go for that this game. Um, and then, of course, the Mountie. Um, so that, they, this is interesting because they can make national parks. And I wish I had done that in my last Canada game. I kind of missed that. Um, so it, it's really unique. You, normally you need faith to 
get national parks, but Canada, you don't really need faith. So I'm actually probably going to not get a religion and not focus much on faith. Um, I would like to do a similar game in Tundra with Russia, where I focus on faith a lot. But Canada, I'm going to take the, uh, the low faith approach, hopefully. Um, I, do, I would like a pantheon. I want to get the god of the hunt pantheon, which gives like plus one food and plus one production to camps. I mean, those yields are incredible because they get uh, extra food for camps here. Uh, with Canada gets extra food for camps anyway. So that will be really nice. Um, let's see. So yeah, a bunch of national parks, these ice hockey rinks. Culture and tourism will be good. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's kind of the general plan. Thanks for watching.